there's an outlet called uh, Games Beat. Uh, John, are you familiar with Games Beat or Games Beat um, and Venture Beat? I'm, I'm familiar with Venture Beat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Dean Takahashi is the lead reporter over there, and he posted over on over on his LinkedIn. I want to make sure I share this as well on another screen. I cannot tell you how disappointed I am tonight. There'll be plenty of time to figure out how this happened. But if you're feeling the same way, hang in there. A single election cannot extinguish hope. Now, the thing about this is uh, the response to this. As you, as you scroll down and you see people, uh, you see CEO, CEO from Shifty Eye Studios along the way. Um, you have uh, women in games ambassador um, over here. We also, what was interesting about this was the, I saw the founder, co-founder of 2K Games. I'm Ooh. with you, my friends, you know, yes. uh, along the way. So mental health day tomorrow. <laughs> we resist. <laughs> I'm doing that again. <laughs> right. oh. I don't really like, what do you say to these people outside of like, hey, you've been lied to. I don't, I don't really know how to respond to that. John, how, how would, if somebody came to you, if you're working with a writer and they're like, Hey, John, I need a, I need a mental health day. I don't know if I can write tomorrow based off of the results of the election. How would you respond to that? Uh, <laughs> suck it up. Like, I don't know. Uh, I've never actually had to, had to deal with that. No one, the people that I hire don't have those issues. So, <laughs> Oh. Um, I've never, I've never had that issue. Um, if someone did have that, I, I would see if like, I would actually like feel real empathy for them and see if they can get the help that they need and try and maybe provide them with people that can like work through whatever issues that they're having, uh, maybe help them, uh, not potentially like having mental break or try and go crazy on social media as we've seen so many of these, um, people do, uh, even outside the games industry. I mean, obviously everyone's seeing the TikTok videos going completely viral with like just just insanity so uh, i would actually try and help the person um point them in the right direction try to get them on the right path um talk to them try and be a friend to them um that's probably where i would be because obviously you would have a relationship with them um already if they're already working for me so i would assume that i i had at least some kind of rapport with them where i could potentially like speak, speak to them, get them on the right path because, um, they're, they're a fellow human being, right? I mean, they, they, uh, I believe that they made in the uh, image and likeness of God, they have uh, dignity there. So you'd want to, you want to help them. Uh, and this is actually something I have, I actually like been struggling with because you see all these people like freaking out, you see Mark Wade going all this stuff and it's just really easy to kind of like, these people are just kind of insane, crazy, but at the same time, it's just like, it's really sad. It's kind of pitiable. And, and, and you just really kind of feel for them uh, on some level because they've just because they because a lot of times a lot of these people have just they've just been brainwashed. They've been lied to constantly over the, like the past decade or even more. And uh, they've completely like kind of bought into it. So uh, it's 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 tough. I'll tell you this, John, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You are a better human than me. <laughs> you are such a better human than I am. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's tough like i mean like i said it's something i struggle with i'm i'm definitely struggling with it um because it, it's so easy i think to just kind of like just trash these people um for this stuff but at the, at the end of the day they are they are fellow <laughs> americans they are fellow humans so you you, you want to like you want to heal the wounds right and i don't think you can really heal the wounds unless you kind of reach out to, like try and meet them where they are and then kind of bring them along and uh it's hard to do that it's hard to do that but uh i mean so, in some cases like obviously there's people that you have to, you still have to like oppose this stuff, right? You got to oppose all the things that they are pushing and all that stuff, but you want to kind of bring them along um, and, and steer them in the right direction. So they won't be going down these kind of destructive paths that they've kind of been led down on, led down. I, I, I agree with you in that I have a lot of empathy for these folks and uh, that I do feel sorry for them that they've been lied to and they've been led astray for so long and that they, they truly have no idea how to cope with this like no, no. idea they they're so confused how could this happen how i don't understand and specifically when it comes to like the video game industry it's such an isolated industry it's such a bubble uh these companies are based in san francisco la seattle um you know that that 
they have no idea how the rest of society could feel different than them. Uh, it's it's shocking, really. Uh, but he posted the same thing over on X as well, and the yeah. response was a little bit different. Um, yeah, <laughs> can imagine. Yeah, you know, it's just kind of like uh, you know, this is this is the same right, thing yeah. here. And, then, and so just. To yeah, I just want to address, like, I'm not saying that you instantly forgive these people, right? Like, obviously, forgiveness has, there's justice too, right? And there should be justice. Like, I don't, like, not believe in justice. I 100% believe in justice. Like, you have, these people have to, like, if you're going to forgive them, they have to put in the work too, right? So they have to actually, like, show repentance. I mean, these people have been hating on us for a long time, calling us the nastiest things, maligning us. Uh, they've destroyed people's livelihoods. Look at Gina Carano is the perfect example. She's obviously fighting back now. But how many other people lost their jobs, uh, lost the, like their friends? They were just, I mean, uh, the whole like just look at like COVID and what happened with that. I mean, it's just absolutely um, terrible what happened, especially like some of these and some of these people, I think, know what they did and, and, and they're going to continue to do it. And they don't they don't want to be they don't want to even solve the problem or, or even look at it and fixing it. And uh, like I said, like you have to, you still have to like oppose, pe oppose the ideology. Some of those people, you gotta be like, hey, you gotta do, you gotta pay your dues in order to kind of like figure out that they're actually on the, like, the right page now, and they're not gonna like stab you in the back or, or things like that. So, um, so it, it's a, a tough, man, tough it's a line to walk, right? Yeah, it's like it's 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 tough love. It's just like here, yeah. here's a tissue, but you know, I understand you're upset, but you're just gonna have to suck it up and deal. And every time yeah. you hear this, you know, stuff that's obviously wrong, you gotta correct that. You know, there's a yeah. way to correct it if you got a smile on your face or you know, I don't freaking care. You're wrong, you're wrong. I'm gonna tell you, you know, that uh tell you that you're wrong because you're right. A lot of these people have been lied to, a lot of these people are from that participation trophy generation where it's okay. It doesn't matter. What you feel is right. The facts don't matter. It's what you feel is right. You hear this, you know, this is my truth. And it's like, well, your truth is not the facts. Facts don't care, you know, about, uh, about your feelings. So you can definitely show empathy to people, but at the same time, be assertive and say, you, you know, you're full of crap, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got lied to, but it is yeah, what it is. I, I mean, I, I know Craig's a, is a, is a dad as well. So it's, it's like dealing with your children, right? Like you, you don't, I don't like punishing my, my child. Like I, I hate punishing my child, but when my child is uh, misbehaving, you like, you, you got to do what you got to do. And, 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 and sometimes you got, you got to, you got to punish your child. And then, and they usually learn the lesson. They usually learn the lesson. Right. And then uh, they're, you, smart. You, <laughs> they're smart. Yeah. They learn the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you forgive them and you move on a lot of times, right? So, and then, and then obviously in some cases you show mercy too. And you're like, okay, well, uh, I, I said I was going to punish you, but you were really good and, and you did this. Um, and so now like, thank you for doing that. And you let them know, you know that, but there's, there's obviously like different ways to like go about it and stuff like that. So, and I, I know you, I think you have like uh, nieces and nephews, Lorena. So I'm sure you've. Yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, I do. Some days it's just like, oh, you know, all right, you learned. And other days it's just like, uh, nope, nope, no PS4 for you. I don't care. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> well, there. I listen. I've said this before. I, I feel I feel empathy for for people who are that broken, and I, I do want to get them help. But at the same time, you know, there's. I definitely understand those who say, who. Uh, who say, you know, no retreat, no surrender. I mean, I totally understand all sentiments of it for sure. 